In this video, I'll be covering textures and material setup, mainly focusing on texture optimization, importing and organizing the materials, creating the materials, and assigning them. I'll also be covering best practices at each and every step to get good performance in the WebGL player. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here I have some texture files for the fabric and the wood. Let's take a look at the fabric files. As you can see, I have a baked AO, a single AO map for all the models in SOFA, including the wood and the piping. I laid out the UVs all together in one UV set to better optimize for performance. I have a normal map, I have a roughness map, base color, and specular. Before you import, check the file sizes. As you can see, the file sizes are too high. In WebGL implementations, you have to be mindful about load times and performance. It's all about user experience as this product can be loaded in a smartphone, tablet, or any device with a browser. I typically have my textures at 1024 by 1024 or 512 by 512. And you can see these textures are at 4K. And I typically use a JPEG file format and in some use cases i prefer to use png to get the alpha information but in this use case jpeg should be enough so before we import into the platform let's optimize them okay to optimize this texture first let's change the resolution of the image 24 and press save always use a good naming combination we typically use underscore base color normal roughness etc it makes it easier to find in the asset library and easily assign the textures required and when you press save you can see the file size here I typically like to set my textures to be below 150 KB. So you can decrease the, the quality and it, it optimizes the texture, uh, but you'll still have almost the same quality. So you have to play around with this image quality settings and check it in the player to make sure you're getting good quality. I'm going to set it to 5. Okay, let's take a look at the picture. And because it's a seamless texture and it's going to get tight. See, it still ha looks similar. And once it gets tight, it'll look the same in the player. Okay, for the roughness map, uh, let's change the image size. Uh, also, for maps like uh, roughness, metallic, uh, the grayscale maps, always make sure that uh, you set the image more to grayscale uh, so that you get better optimization and it doesn't, if you have any color information, it increases the file size. See, that's a good uh, file size. Okay, for normal map, make sure you export the normal map in OpenGL as 3K platform uses OpenGL. For compression for normal maps, be careful in compressing it too much as that may cause artifacts. So if you see any visual disturbances in 3K WebGL player, uh, in the normal information of the material, check your compression settings for the normal map. Okay, I went ahead and optimized all the images. 
now they are ready to be imported into the Tricket platform. Okay, before I import all these textures into the platform, let's create a folder for textures, models, scenes. Uh, all the files and assets have to be properly organized as there are multiple people working on any given project. So let's create a folder for textures. Select folder and press yes. Now you can drag and drop all the textures. You can see the status of the upload and once they are fully uploaded, uh, there will be a green check mark. Okay, now that all the textures have been uploaded, let's upload the sofa as well. Before we upload, let's create a folder for the model. And drag and drop the FBX file. When the model is imported into the platform, it automatically creates an instance of materials that are assigned to the model imported. I like to make my materials from scratch, so I'm going to delete this material. The models can be tagged and renamed as well. So if you want to rename the asset, click on the asset and there's an edit button here. Click on it and you can name and add any tags that you need. These tags can be used for sorting, for catalog, etc. Which we'll go over in the coming videos. Okay, now let's create a folder for materials. Let's create three different materials. Select material and name the material fabric one underscore MAT. This makes it easier to identify. Go back. As you can see, the material has been created. Okay, I went ahead and created all the three different materials. Now let's go ahead and assign the textures. Let's assign it for the fabric one material. Press launch editor, compress middle mouse button and open a new tab. Go to the new tab. Here, here you can see different material properties. Now let's go ahead and assign the base color. Set it to full white so that the color doesn't affect the map. As you can see, if I set it to red, it affects the map underneath. Let's set it to full white so that it uses the, the color from the image asset. Now select the render category. Fabric is an opaque material. Set it to opaque. There's no metallic factor for the fabric. Set roughness to one to use the full range of the map uploaded. Select roughness map. See it is how, how easier it is to identify the maps here when they are named uh, appropriately. Select the specular map. And select the assign the normal map. As you can see, the material starts to come together. You can adjust the tiling of the maps individually by clicking on the asset, image asset. Here you can change uh, the brightness values, the tiling, etc. But there's much more uh, easier and convenient way. If you go back to the material, and there's a material operator and there are different types of op material operators you can refer to the other videos with the material operators but now let's go over tiling override 
with this operator you can tile different maps from the material itself select the textures that you want to tile for this instance it's going to be base color roughness specular and normal and let's set the tiling to 5 as you can see it dynamically changes go back to the assets tab go to models to assign the material to the sofa open it, open the model in the new tab select sofa cushions scroll down and assign fabric on material as you can see it's now assigned and you can adjust the tiling uh, go back to the material tab and let's say change it to 7 and you have to every time you make a change make sure that it's saved it automatically changes uh, and gets saved uh, reload the tab to get the new changes that you made as you can see tiling has changed okay now let's create the wood material for the sofa go back to the assets tab navigate to textures and drag and drop the textures you can create folders inside folders to organize even further and to differentiate between various categories and product lines wait for the textures to be uploaded go ahead the process now that the, all the textures have been uploaded go back to materials folder open the wood material you can start assigning the assets base color and the category opaque roughness and normal map if you want to uh, add a bit of clear coat or uh, varnish you can use this as well uh, let's go and uh, assign the wood material let's reload the tab to get the latest test that we made select legs scroll down and assign wood material check the tiling looks good Okay, I went ahead and created the material for the piping as well. Now you check the material for any issues. Check the tiling of the fabric, tiling of the wood material, piping, etc. We still need to assign the AO map that we picked. Let's go to the fabric one material. Scroll down to AO and select the AO map and we baked it to UV channel 1, set it to UV 1 and you can also use triplanar mapping if you don't have proper UVs by switching the map to triplanar ok now let's go and check the sofa press reload as you can see the AO is coming through and we have baked the AO for the piping and the wood in the same AO map so we can navigate to wood material scroll down and do the same select so the AO and set it to your channel 1 same for the piping
now let's reload the page as you can see the server is coming together well in the coming videos uh, i'll be going over the scene setup and the lighting setup